always say that there are very few things in this world that can't be improved by slapping some chrome on it. Cars, jewelry, and yes, even text. Whether it's a thick, bold font or something a little slimmer and sleeker, this chrome effect is incredibly versatile. And the best part? It's done using almost exclusively layer styles, meaning you can edit your font face or text at any time. So let's look at how to create a realistic chrome effect in Adobe Photoshop. First, let's start by creating the pattern that will give our metal text effect that distinct reflective chrome feel. Go ahead and open up this bus seats image and then go to filter distort zigzag. Change the amount to 20, the ridges to five and the style to a pond ripple. Next, go to edit define pattern, naming the pattern reflection. And believe it or not, that's it. Go ahead and close this canvas. Next, let's create a simple background to place our text on. Go ahead and create a new document and place this asphalt texture onto it, resizing as needed. Double click the textures layer to apply a gradient overlay effect with the following settings. A blend mode set to multiply, the style set to a radial, the scale set to 150%, and a gradient going from a medium gray to a dark gray, just to make everything nice and grayscale. So with our background all set, let's set up our text layers. You can edit both the text and font after we add the chrome effect, so don't worry about picking the perfect phrase or font face just yet. Go ahead and create some text using the Bebus New font. Duplicate that text layer and change the duplicates fill to zero. And that's that. Finally, we can move on to the chrome effect. We have a pretty lengthy list of layer styles we're about to add. So feel free to pause and slow me down and get a good look at all of these settings. We will also be using a few pre-made gradients from a gradient pack that you can find along with all the other resources used in the description below. So go ahead and download and install them. We will be using the Chrome's gradient file to be specific. So once your resources are all set up, start by double clicking the original text layer and applying the following layer styles. First, add a bevel and emboss with a size of one uncheck the use global light box, an angle of 30, an altitude of 16, check that anti-aliased box, a highlight of 100% and a shadow of 100%. Next, a contour set to cove shallow. Then go ahead and again check the anti-aliased box with a range of 100%. Third, Add a stroke with a size of 1, a position of inside, a fill type of gradient, and then go ahead and use the Stainless Steel XX Gradient Fill from our gradient pack. Now add an inner shadow with an opacity of 35%, uncheck the Use Global Light Box, an angle of negative 115, a distance of 3, and a size of seven. Now onto an inner glow with a blend mode set to vivid light, an opacity of 100%, a color set to something similar to what you see here, a choke of zero, and a size of three. Next up, a gradient overlay, checking the dither box, setting the blend mode to color, the opacity to 90%, Go ahead and check the reverse box and then use the stove pipe 70 gradient fill once again from our downloaded gradient pack. Number seven, a pattern overlay with our uh, reflection pattern set to a scale of 50%. Don't worry if it doesn't look just right quite yet. Now onto an outer glow with a blend mode set to multiply an opacity of 35 Again, a color similar to what you see here, and a size of 21. Next up, a drop shadow with an opacity of 100%, a distance of 5, a spread of 10, and a size of 10 as well. 
and add a second and final drop shadow with an opacity of 80%. Go ahead and uncheck Use Global Light Box, an angle of 132, a distance of 17, and a size of 38. Now you can then go back into the Pattern Overlay effect and click and drag the pattern inside of the text to move it around until you get a good looking result. Just eye it out and whatever looks best to you. Now it's time to put our duplicate text layer to work. Go ahead and double click the duplicated text layer and apply the following layer styles. First, add an inner glow with a blend mode set to linear light, an opacity of 20%, a color similar to what you see here, the technique set to precise, a size of 5, and a contour set to cove deep. Secondly, add a gradient overlay set to blend mode soft light, an angle of 80, and then go ahead and use the Steel Pipe 10 Gradient Fill from that gradient pack. And finally, add an Outer Glow set to a blend mode of Color Dodge, an opacity of 50%, a color similar to what you see here, and a size of 21. Let's finish everything off with a tint of color. Go ahead and create a gradient fill layer, placing it above all other layers. And then go ahead and check the dither box. And then create a gradient going from a muted navy to a muted pink-ish tone, and then into a tan color. You can change these colors to whatever suits your project the best, or completely just ditch this step. It's completely optional. Finally, if you do choose to have a gradient, change its blend mode to soft light and bring it down its opacity to a mere 20%. You can bring it up if you want a stronger color payoff, however. And there you have it, a quick customizable chrome text effect that can be changed on the fly. No commitment needed. So if you like this video and would like to see more, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you aren't already. And don't forget to click the little bell icon to be notified of any and all new inspiring videos. And if you are looking to learn even more, why not check out some of the other excellent tutorials that Envato Touch Plus has to offer. I'm Abby Esparza. See you next time.